Hey everybody, it's Saturday. Welcome to day two of Vlogmas. I am hanging out in my basement with both skateboards and snowboards. And this is also like our hangout area anyway. Like the basement is where the kids hang out. There's a TV and couches. And also my yarn room is right, right over there. It's a disaster. And um, so we're down here a lot, but this is the quietest spot for now. And it's a good spot for Saturdays. So I'm hanging out down here, getting ready for this day. So this morning, my friend Erica and I, who you saw Erica, if you watched my Rhinebeck videos, um, we are meeting up downtown to distribute some hats and scarves and cowls and other hand knit things to people in need. Um, there's like a real high traffic area downtown near the library that um, we take hats and stuff to. We try to do it each winter, but it's been a while since we've done this. So we're doing a hat drive. And thank you to anyone who donated hats to us this past few weeks. We really appreciate it. So we have a good number of things to go distribute down there. And then we're also sending a box of hats to Knit the Rainbow, which is new this year for us. And we're really excited to help participate in their efforts. So we're gonna meet up at 10 this morning, go down there and do that, and then maybe grab a coffee and knit for a minute. And then um, the rest of the day, I think I'm gonna be hanging out at home-ish and maybe doing some knitting, maybe. I do need to catch up on my Arnie and Carlos because I only have the toe done. I did not have time yesterday, so I need to do today's and yesterday's. So maybe this afternoon I'll have time to do my knit along rows for their stocking. I think it's six rows per day, so hopefully I can knock that out at some point today. And then I am working on my La Bien Ami sweater, which is kind of slow going right now, but I need to keep cranking out like maybe like an inch a day would be a good goal for me. Um, I have a lot going on. And then tonight, my big event of the day is I am taking Lotus and one of her best friends to the Pierce the Veil show, which if you're not familiar and you might not be, <laughs> they are like metal emo music. Like it's intense, but I, you would never know by looking at me, but I'm a big fan of that kind of music. I'm an old like nineties metal head, an elder, you know, emo metal fan. <laughs> So I'm super excited to go. I'm really into it. They're a fantastic band. We're very lucky to have them in Des Moines. They've been selling out shows nationwide, like in every city. They were in Chicago last night and they are in Des Moines tonight. So I'm taking Lotus and her friend um, to kind of, you know, be their guardian and protector, but also teach them the ways of the metal emo concert scene. It's going to be awesome. So I'll take a little video while we're there because it's going to be amazing. The only thing I'm worried about is it's super cold today. I think there's a chance of snow and we're going to have to stand outside in some kind of line, I'm sure. Like in the dark, in the cold, I'm assuming. So I'm kind of not looking forward to that part of it. But once we get there, it's going to be amazing. And this band is incredible. They have three openers who all look good too. But like it's... You know, I'm kind of, I, I go to bed, I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a night owl, but I get tired. So <laughs> this is going to be like a major night tonight, but it's so fun to go to shows with my daughter. I'm so happy she likes this kind of music. This is one of her very, very favorite bands. So we are going all out and um, her friend loves them too. So we're going to have a great night tonight. Um, and yeah, the two girls are going to be hanging out at our house this afternoon, like chilling beforehand and we'll go get something to eat and then go do this Pierce the Veil show. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be amazing. Other than that, I am kind of hoping for a chill day at home so I can be ready and rested and prepared for the show tonight because it's going to be, you know, intense. But then, um, yeah, I'm hoping for knitting time, hangout time. I do have my advents to open, so I'm gonna do that now. So once again, um, if you don't wanna see the Chelsea Yarns advent or the Magpie Fibers advent, please skip ahead or leave now. I'm gonna give you some notice. Um, so Chelsea 
yarns again my big Chelsea tote I'm in love with this um, I'm gonna do number two for December 2nd love it and I'm gonna get out my little note card to see what the color name is and let's open it again Chelsea yarns if you don't want to see go away <laughs> Ooh, this is I love this gorgeous neutral let's see if I can focus it a little bit of brown a little bit of pink focus again and neutrals sorry the lighting down here is uh, not great <laughs> but a beautiful cream with hints of brown pink a speck of like orange and green in there so let's read what this color is called this is chelsea yarns radio city that is amazing i wonder if it's based like on the building I love this. Yeah, I need to like look up pictures of these buildings and see how this goes along with it because I'm sure that's the intention here. So that is a beautiful neutrally cream color, which is really pretty with yesterday's color too. So this is number two, December 2nd of Chelsea Yarns. This is such a fun set to open. Here's that card again, which is so fun. Yay, so I'm gonna put that in my big Chelsea tote. Okay, once again, I'm gonna open the Magpie Fibers advent, so if you don't wanna see it, go away. But here's that amazing box again with all the little number boxes. And I just pulled out number two. Look at this, look how beautiful this is. How is this so cool? Okay, I don't want them to all fall out. Put it back carefully. Number two. What could it be? Okay, I'm going to read the little card first. Okay, this is from a magpie. So it did say on the thing that the magpies each picked like a little gift, I think. I think. Um, for some of these boxes. So this is Juanita, a flagship magpie. Juanita is a Leo. Um, resident multi-crafter on a mission to make the shop a welcoming haven for all makers. With her passion for both knitting and crochet, she wanted to select a gift that would delight both communities. After being inspired by Sassafras cre creations through our Fiber Friends Showcase, Juanita knew she had found the perfect gift. That's why we reached out and asked Rochelle to craft exclusive removable stitch markers chosen with care by Juanita. So I just did a little spoiler there. And oh, that's beautiful. So this is from Sassafras Knits. And let me, there we go. So it's like a little gold moon. I'm having a terrible time here. With these little like purple crystals on the side. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is like jewelry. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Beauty and function, no doubt. This is a beautiful little progress keeper stitch marker with the lobster claw so you can stick it in there anywhere you need it. So pretty. That's day number two. So those are my advents for the day. I think I've got my knitting plan for the day. I'm going to go start on my Arne and Carlos stocking, knit along and see if I can catch up. And then, you know, make my kids lunch, do all the Saturday things, and then get ready for the show. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping for kind of a chill day. Concert tonight. Cold, but ready for it. It'll be fun. And I think I'm going to go make, make some toast and open my first jam of my 12 Days of Christmas. Because that sounds delicious. Okay, let's get this Saturday started.
it's time to pack up these hats and head downtown. Here's a pile of all the hats and scarves and other accessories that we are donating today. So Erica and I are at the Des Moines Sculpture Park in front of the Love Sculpture and we have collected hats and scarves and all kinds of stuff. Erica did way more than me, but we both have an adding knitting machine and it helps us out a lot because we can't hand knit hats that fast. Uh, thank you for everyone that donated and participated in our hat drive. Uh, we have, we're going to go drop them around the sculpture park in downtown Des Moines. We have a pretty large unhoused population, so hopefully this will give them a little hug that they need throughout this cold winter. And then um, we'll be shipping a box off to Knit the Rainbow a little later uh, this week. Thank you for the knitters who helped us out. Thank you, Erica, for setting this up and making it happen because I always forget to get things on the calendar and you actually did it. And we're gonna go distribute these around the city and then take some to the library and then mail some off to Knit the Rainbow. And you don't have to have a whole collection drive. You can just have a hat and you can drop it in your own community and let people know that you're thinking about them and that you, send them a nice warm hug. So it doesn't have to be a big thing. It can just be a little thing and it, it matters the same amount. That is so true. Good point. Yeah, our <laughs> friend Kate in Minneapolis just does this on her own and she will randomly knit like three hats and leave them at, throughout Minneapolis in the coldest months and she just did that. So you can do this in your city, you can do this anywhere. And yeah, it just takes one person, one hat and it does make a difference. So yay, thanks. We're gonna go do this. So this is our little label that I made a few years ago for a thing we did with Modern Daily Knitting. And it says, I'm not lost. If you're out in the cold, please take this to stay warm. And then people know that it's not just a lost hat on the ground, that we left it intentionally. So that's why there's these little tags on there. Time to warm up with some coffee. I'm trying to figure out what to wear to the concert tonight. And then I realized I have the perfect DIY project ready to go. Elder Emos and Metalheads, this is for you. <laughs> there comes a time in everyone's life where you end up buying a pair of Crocs. Crocs are cool. And um, the, my opportunity arose at last year's Vogue Knitting Live when my friends and I all had sore feet and we decided to buy pairs of Crocs and we all got pairs of black Crocs. But I've decided to enhance mine and metal them out a bit. One moment. 
with some spikes. So get ready with me, concert edition. Let's spike my Crocs. That took about five minutes. And yes, my thumb is a little sore now, but look how amazing these are. I'm so excited. They look so much cooler. And I can rearrange the spikes. I don't know where I want them exactly. I'll have to see how that goes. I don't think I like the chains. So you can do it in the back. It's a little weird. So I think I'm gonna take the chains off. I mean, you can put it in sport mode and have them in the front, but I think I'm going to take them off. I like them just with that. They're done. These are the coolest Crocs to ever exist. And then I just realized I'm not going to wear these tonight because I don't know if security would like my Crocs very much. They might be fine. They might not even notice, but well, there's some big spikes. Maybe these are just for at home loungewear. Okay, back to knitting. Now it's time to go to the show.